Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for October 2024. Um, can't believe it's going to be October. Anyway, this is going to be uh, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Many of you are intuitively guided to readings now. And, um, you know, uh, I thank you for paying attention to your intuition, truly. Um, you could be in love with the Taurus. Uh, platonically, romantically, and by the way, um, September, when, like, when I do the monthlies, I normally just go in order. I started the birthday month, um, but something told me to do opposite signs, like back-to-back, -back. um, and I don't know, I could see, like, I just, so I did that, and I could really see, like, the synchronicities, because our opposite sign um, it's good to know it, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times it possesses some of the qualities that we ourselves might lack, you know, myself being an earth sign, um, like your opposite is Scorpio and mine is Pisces. So anyways, like, you know, the opposite being water, um, there's a lot we can learn and vice versa, vice versa. Um, but for some reason, I, and I say this all the time, uh, maybe I'm trying to manifest it, but, um, I love Scorpio and Taurus together. I just do. And it's not all opposite signs I like together. Um, at least from my experience doing readings. So anyway, and another thing we're going to do is we're going to use those bullet points we did in the beginning of the reading. And, um, but we're going to use the Romance Angels instead. Um, this is an Oracle deck. And, you know, there's usually love somewhere in our reading. And this is, I really like this deck. This is a deck that I had to leave behind when I moved. And um, so a company reached out to me and sent me a few decks. And I'm going to do a formal review, but... I've been using them in the readings to just, you know, see if it's because I want to give an honest review. Uh, so anyways, love is usually somewhere in our reading. Uh, so we are going to use the Romance Angels, but we're only going to take a few. And um, you know what? In the long run, to me, it all makes sense. It's just getting there. We're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. The Gilded Trail, if I can pick it up, to clarify the moon and the king of swords there for some reason. All right, anyways, to clarify or really to go deeper. And I do have another small deck that I may use on top of that. Um, it's called the Celestial Tarot. But... I'm also using the same decks for the opposite signs. The Scorpio's reading is already done. I'm going to release it as soon as I'm done with yours. Um, and I used a good tarot, so I'm going to use it in this reading also. That's going to be your main spread. All right. I feel like I've been talking long enough. Let's, let's get into it. Let me bring the lid down. Not too much. We go all right let's just calm our minds this is a good time to ask your spirit guides to send you sign confirmations feelings through the reading um really to see if it resonates sometimes the whole reading can be yours sometimes there's just certain messages um, but I feel like it tells your story and that's why I take my time because I feel like a story needs to unfold. I need to know why, what happened there to understand why I am where I am right now, if that makes sense. So that's how I look at your reading. Okay. Let's go ahead and officially open this reading and I'll stop talking.
All right. Mm. Be strong. Be strong. You know, Taurus, I feel like, I feel like you have had it rough. I feel like you've been through it. And, um, I don't know. I just get this and I'm picking this up intuitively, but I get this feeling like you've been through some difficult things, um, you know, to the point where you questioned like, what the hell, what is going on? Hmm. Um, don't know if it's planetary. Situ I don't know. I feel like it's temporary. So to me, that's good news. And maybe this is like that. What's the word I want to say? Um, dang it. Something at the end of the rainbow. What the heck? I can't think of the word. Be strong. Anyway, I pull myself up and do what needs to be done. And you know what? That's one of your traits anyway. That's a really good trait that you have that, you know, like you can stick it out till the end um, where others may have walked away. You know, the one thing is I feel like, and I'm just really picking up your energy, but I feel like, well, if I stick it out to the end or I do everything I can if something doesn't work out then at least I know that I tried and I feel like that's someone like that's what they've been saying to themselves lately you know or would say back to me like you know yes but you know I don't just walk away Hmm. Interesting how much I'm picking up just on that one card. All right, let's bring in the Romance Angels. Give them a couple shuffles. Um, I'll also let you know that if you mirror, mirror Sophia's reading at all, because again, I, um, I'm starting to realize that we should really check out our opposite signs. It may, I don't know, maybe help awaken something within us. All right. Romance Angels. This could be the one. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one. Interesting. Okay. You already met the romantic partner you seek. With this new love. It's interesting because like when I do a reading, what what like what I what happens here is like I feel the energy, like I'm going through it. And it's interesting because when it is saying that you you may already have met the person that you seek, that there was something I was feeling inside like, well, but that's probably not for everyone. And what I mean by that is some of you, well, unless you've recently met, it's interesting. Like, I don't know, for some reason, I'm not feeling like this is someone younger, you know, of a younger time. Now, I guess it could certainly be, um, you know, I mean, that's my life. I'm back with the person I was with when I was 16. And um, it certainly was new love, even though we have loved before. Interesting. 
And I'm not telling you my experience. I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to leave that off the table. But anyway, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So it does feel like something that may have already happened or is about to happen. Interesting. So this mirror, Scorpio. All right. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Interesting. Time apart from your person is on the horizon. And then past life relationship. And interesting because, again, the first card, this could be the one. That's what I was feeling. I was feeling, but have I met them in this lifetime? And the answer may be yes for some, and it may be no for others. You know what I mean? But do we know each other? Yes, we know each other on a soul level. So it could be something that's coming back around. Um, but this isn't, this is like, hmm, like I feel like this is. This definitely feels like love. But at the same time, what do I want to say? Like, hmm. Some of you may be drawn, like, you know, drawn in a way towards someone. Um, like, I feel, I don't know, like, you know, I wake up and I have this plan for this day. And, like, all these interruptions happen, but each one kind of feels like it was meant to because it ultimately leads you to someone and I guess whether I know them or not, like, I don't want to put a lot of focus on that yet. But what I do want to say is if I do know them, but you do know each other on a soul level, um, it is about, it's not like picking up where we left off. This is new, fresh. Hmm. Then you also have separation. Well, that could be why I feel it's coming back around. All right, so let's get into good tarot. And um, it'll let us know. It was dark in my office today. I call it my office, but really it's my sanctuary. <laughs> it's like I can design it any way I wish. All right. You know, and then I'm looking at Mother Mary's card who that says, be strong. I pull myself up and do what needs to be done. And maybe it's during that very action. Um, something unfolds. All right. We have five of wands. Mm. So first of all, it's five. So some type of change. We have the wheel. Interesting. Destiny. All right, well, let's talk about this for a second, because the Five of Wands, though you can't really see it here, you know, the Five of Wands is a lot of drama, a lot of fighting. And we do have separation up there, so this could be what it's talking about for whatever the reason. And listen, it could even be with, like, a current partner. Um... 
And, you know, I'm saying this for those who like, how do I say this? You know, like, I don't know, like, I feel like you know that you want out. If you are connected to someone, um, what am I holding? Anyways, you know, this is the energy where I feel like the only thing I can really do is not allow myself to get pulled into the drama. This is fighting, but this is coming from the ego. And, you know, we all know this energy. Um, and it may be what causes separation. It is a five, so there was a change. And then comes the wheel. You know, even people who like truly love each other can get pulled into that five of wands energy. And sometimes it can be like, well, it can cause that separation. But for some reason, I, f I get this feeling of, even though that happened, I feel like um, I left that energy. But I still feel like I loved that person. Hmm. So even bad things can happen to real love. You know what I mean? Like, because we have to remember that we have this human part of ourselves where it's really where the drama lies. You know, but if we remember we're spiritual beings, that's who we are, right? The this, this spiritual being is the intellect to the soul. And the soul's the one who's here having this journey, you know, this thing called life. But we're in a human body, so we're having human experiences. And that's why I feel like with the five of wands where there's drama, you know, I can, I can get caught into it, get caught up in it. But I feel like that would come more again from the human side where I feel like the soul would just be like, I'm just, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Reminds me of a song. But I'm moving on. We have the Page of Cups. Interesting. You know, I get this feeling like, you know, there, there's certainly something happened, I feel, that, you know, did involve the ego, did involve, let's just say, lower vibrational type energy. Um, I still feel like there was love. But at the same time, again, like bad things can happen to good people if, well, sometimes we want to look at the people we're surrounding ourselves with also. We have the Six of Wands at the end of this, of this line. So it's mirroring the Five of Wands. I feel like that Page of Cups can certainly talk about, like, you know, a younger water sign. Because um, a page can represent, you know, someone of a younger time. But, you know, I really see it as like your inner child. And some of you, you could have left, like, this separation. I feel like, you know, it almost feels, feels like it had to end. Or it would have went the whole way to the Ten of, Swords, or Ten of Wands, which is like not where it almost feels like this was a better decision. Ending at the Five instead of going the whole way to the Ten. Because then you have the Six of uh, Wands, which really talks about victory. You know, victory and success. Next is Page of Cups. I feel like 
you know, during this separation, let's just say, whether again, past lifetimes or even this lifetime, I feel like whatever I've been through, um, that does seem to tie back to this five of wands energy. Um, I may be someone who like really took it on like it, like it really hurt. Um, so to me, the page of cups can be like you're healing that part of yourself. And, um, however long that takes, you know what I mean? I feel like the wheel is like at your back. And then the six of wands makes me feel like, and then you're on, you're on to new things. So it could have just been this period of time, but it doesn't feel like a waste of time. Okay, let's keep going. Hmm, seven of swords. Well, Scorpio did have that in their reading. Under that five of wands. You know, some is arguing. Listen, you know, I feel this two different ways because I feel for some of you, it's it's like a relationship or a connection you're in maybe now um, where, you know, it could have been a free will choice, could have been a karmic lesson. Um, but for some reason, I'm feeling for some of you, it feels like I'm connected to someone who pulls me, kind of pulls me into that drama of the five of wands. And then you get the seven of swords under that. So I feel like that certainly represents like communication that was not good. Like probably the things that we said to each other in the heat of the moment. Um, seven swords can be lies. You know, and you know, I feel like Taurus, when someone lies to you, it's like you have a hard time believing them again. Um, but I feel like, you know, there could have been like, I don't know, I keep saying like, um, not good communication. Um, potentially, you know, I feel like potentially, well, some of that communication could have been over whether I can trust someone or not. But yet, the energy that it's coming from, hmm. So I get a clue of like what you're fighting about or what you fought about. There could have been some questioning of like certain activities. It's a lot of cards, but I'm going to take them. All right. Hmm. Ace of Wands under the wheel. I like that. So this is about inspired action. Inspired. And then action coming right under what's called fortune's wheel in this deck. You know, that's your destiny. That means this wheel's moving. I like that. It's like the Ace of Wands energy moving that wheel. And, you know, it almost feels like here is that separation. Okay, let's keep going. I'll look at this. Two cups. Soulmate. That's probably why I felt like even in our worst times, and, and this is for those that I feel, you know, has probably happened, a, you know, maybe a while ago. I feel like the love almost feels like the love is unconditional, right? The two cups really represent soulmates past life relationships that make sense of course your soulmates and i kind of love the two of cups under the page of cups because it's like you know the importance the importance of healing oneself you know and that comes through understanding um 
knowing oneself, you know what I mean? I feel like for some of you, this is talking about like inner child type energy, but it's almost like these darts that were coming at me. However, I feel like the Ace of Wands is, again, because this doesn't feel like wasted time. The Ace of Wands is inspired action, so it's asking you to like take this wand and say yes and move forward, and it moves you right into the Two of Cups of Energy. So interesting. This we have the Messenger of Fire. This is the Knight of Wands. We have the world. Okay, so this is a new chapter. Much like the wheel represents, you know, the world is very spiritual time. It makes sense that, you know, if this has like, definitely has the undertones of love, um, then it is talking about soulmates because this is a very spiritual time. So I feel like who's ever in this energy with me, um, because this does feel like, you know, like, like you, you're finding yourself again. You know, like your vibration is lifting. And, you know, if anybody's coming along for the ride, I feel like their vibration would also. Because I feel like once I realize that I am able to let go, you know, allow myself to heal. Because I feel like part of our purpose is to keep our heart open. Um, you know, really not with expectations, but like, you know, just open, you know, for all people, even yourself. That's when it feels like this two of cups, right? Because it's following this ace of wands and then this knight of wands next to it. It's like passion, passion rushing in. Hmm. And then the world, a new chapter. Five would definitely represent the change. Okay, what else do we have? We have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Um, can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, of course. But for a lot of you, it can be finding your own voice, your truth. You know, it's almost like somehow I found myself like off kilter. And I needed to auto-correct. I needed to examine my life and make some changes. And part of it, I feel like, is, you know, part of it is probably in the way you communicate. You can be very matter-of-factly. Matter of factly. Nah, I didn't say that right. But anyways, I love the white owl that's sitting on her shoulder. It's like, to me, wisdom. I kind of feel like it's you, the majority of you, to be honest. And then we have mm, the Eight of Pentacles. New beginning. You know, the Eight of Pentacles speaks about the willingness to go into something like as the apprentice with the goal in mind, which is very the way you think, having a goal in mind um, is to be the master teacher, right? Is to really learn as much as I can. And I do feel like the Eight of Pentacles is about moving into something again, knowing that you're gonna learn it as you go along. This can talk about your craft. You know, sitting next to the Queen of Swords, you can, some of you may do like podcasts, you speak about different experiences. To me, the Eight of Pentacles also answers a question, you know, can I be successful? And the message in the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, wherever you put your focus is what you will grow. If you put your focus here, it's going to grow. And, you know, it could certainly even talk about your career. Because, again, I don't think there's been any wasted time. 
And I could see some of you like talking about it. Almost like a podcast, though. Not just a podcast. I don't want to limit it, limit it in any way. Hmm. Okay. And it's also following the world. So. It's going to be like more trust in yourself to create to bring about two eights in a row, 88. You know, to me, eights represent new beginnings. Strength card, hmm, card Leo. Strength card to me is about, you know, really looking within, getting like, getting to know oneself, the good, the bad, the ugly. You know, finding balance within oneself. You know, I feel like the reward, so to speak, of the willingness to, like, know oneself um, is balance, is courage. Almost like saying, you know, if I've been through this and can create this, wow. You start to become proud of yourself. Hmm. Strength card mirroring the world. So, you know, you have two eights following the world. Again, it can be two new beginnings. Some of you may be you like feeling. You may uh, feel this pull towards, like, you know, in or even different avenues in the way you make your money. And I feel like you should follow it. Some of you, I feel like, um, after this period of time of, like, really, like, finding yourself again, that's what it feels like. You know, but not closing that inner child part of me out. Like, I'm still playful, even though I can be very stoic, right? I'm still, I'm going to let that part of myself out. I feel like it's just, it just feels like then natural type energy. Because I feel this Ace of Wands is, again, inspired action. Almost like it's leading me. But it's part of the will also. And the two of cups following that. Well, hello. All right. Well, we'll come back and clarify. We have the king of cups on the bottom. Interesting. Again, your opposite. We have the sun underneath that. So it could certainly represent masculine energy doesn't have to be, you know, and we want to remember we're both masculine and feminine energy. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the Guild of Trout and let's just go ahead and get deeper. I feel like we went pretty deep, but. Interesting, I noticed the wheel on the bottom. And if she's talking about two people, it could certainly be like people being guided to each other. You know, almost like, well, you're part of my destiny. You know, whether it works out or not will be the free will. I feel like if this is talking about anybody that, like, I can't trust, I couldn't trust that told me lies, you know, could they have evolved? Of course they could have. But I feel like this is, there almost feels like I'm putting an end to that. 
and I'm moving in a different direction. Hmm, King of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords down here. So it's interesting because he's coming right over that Five of Wands where that drama lies. And it's interesting because he is right next to like this could be the one. However, this one also has drama attached to it. Hmm. Could have even been a past lifetime. And the wheel like almost represents the next the next life. All right. You know, the King of Swords usually represents truth, integrity, good communicator. So did, you know, is this person, um, and they often feel in the upright, they're telling, you know, they speak the truth. But yeah, definitely attached to that drama at the same time. We have the three of wands over the wheel. And new love. Mm, interesting. I don't know why I keep getting pulled back and forth. You know, the Three of Wands, you're kind of like going with the flow of the universe. This, you know, Three of Wands speaks about the present moment, what's happening right now. And it's the choice to be optimistic about your future. You know, it's right over the wheel. It's right over new love. You know, however, let's just say however it shows up. You know, this is... This is someone who's saying, you know, I'm going to live in the present moment and I'm just going to believe and trust that the ships that are meant to find me will find me. But I'm going to put, I'm going to, I'm going to have an optimistic view of it. Right. However, it shows. And again, that Ace of Wands right there, like inspiring this person to, I don't know, it's almost like think bigger, but be present at the same time. Why? Because I feel like you're being guided. And this is just kind of trusting in universal flow or divine timing. You know, those ships will come in. I just know it. You know, maybe you've really learned during this period of time to, like, open your intuition. And you're allowing yourself, like, to be guided without, you know, putting stipulations upon it. Okay, we had a card flip over. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay, well, first of all, that puts you in a decision mode. Seven of Cups can, you know, represent uncertainty of uh, choosing this cup. Hmm. You know, but it's coming over the page of Cups. It's almost something I had to learn about myself. I feel like for for some of you, it's like you spent this lifetime looking for like this certain cup. Maybe you couldn't put a name to it, but like, you know, it's almost like you felt. You allowed yourself to feel it. And, you know, I feel like one of these cups is the soulmates. But I have to learn, you know, 
trust that. It's almost like, you know, I could have kissed a lot of frogs before I meet my prince. Okay, let's keep going. Hmm. We have the Page of Wands over the Six of Wands. I like that. Because my Page of Wands is a risk taker. You know, I feel like this is someone saying, you know, I, I've learned from like these ups and downs, these peaks and valleys. I've learned. I've gotten back up again, just like be strong. Right? I get back up again. I try again. You know, it's ultimately coming over the energy of victory and it's looking into the reading. So I definitely feel like it's saying about taking a chance. Okay. Take a chance on you. Take a chance on me. Temperance. Interesting. Patience. It's the first message. Patience. But then divine timing. Mm. There's something about what I feel like was energy that, you know, didn't turn out well. But there's also something about this separation. And again, is it this lifetime, a past lifetime? It may be both. Because hmm. I get this feeling that this king, whether male or female, because we also have the queen here. Um, it's something that they've learned. Like, you know, like I feel like they have clarity over like what, what caused this separation. Like just as you were healing, they probably were too. And again, temperance, you know, being able to just let go of control and trust in divine timing. That's what this person in the three of wands is doing. So, someone could have certainly evolved. And I don't say that very often with the Seven of Swords here, but it just feels that way. You know, Sam and I got together when we were teenagers, and we didn't date that long. Um, and then we didn't come together until 40 years later. So, you know, this separation. And again, there could just been like, you know, like I've gone through some of these cups and none of them have really fulfilled me. They were loved. But they don't feel like they fulfilled me. Okay. So I feel like, I feel like divine is asking you to get ready to take a leap. All right. We have the eight of cups over the ace of wands. This is you definitely putting something behind you. Another eight, by the way. Eight of cups is when, you know, you take it a moment and you look within your emotional house, you... You're finding clarity. You know, this person's leaving the Eight of Cups, going to the Nine of Cups. That's inner harmony. And it's also fulfillment of wishes. And this person's heading in that direction. And again, over the Ace of Wands, almost being inspired. I feel like there's, there's energy I have to let go of. But I feel like in the same breath, I've learned from it. 
And I feel like so is somebody else. Like I've learned from it. And I feel like that's why it's saying also new love. Because even if I know this person on a soul level, it's still new. But I gotta let go. I can't hang on to the past. It's like some of you are cleaning house, getting ready for something new. And, you know, maybe you don't even know what it is yet. We have interesting the hangman. Again, pause in the action over the two cups. You know, the hangman, and it is, it's also mirroring separation, um, but also how it affects your decision making, the hangman. So it's like pause in the action. Again, some of you, I feel like, listen, you've been working on you, you've been building you up, you've been creating. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like, like, I know when to let go. And, and it's like, if you trust, if you're just able to trust, um, live in the present moment and like, allow yourself to be guided because you definitely feel like you're being guided. You just never know what you're going to find. And the hangman can be a little resistant. You know what I mean? Like the hangman is certainly seeking wisdom, right? Spiritual wisdom on this physical plane. Um, but he's not in the awakened state. So he's kind of still seeking that. But then again, you have divine timing here. So, you know, You know, and for some of you, I feel like it's simply you putting love on hold. Maybe again, like you've been in relationships and you've never felt that, that true, full. And for some of you, maybe you did, but it didn't work out. I know it's confusing. I'm going back and forth, but I'm giving it to you as I, as I see it. I'm not going to take all those. All right, with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. W. Um, you know, I like that you're holding this big pentacle in your hand. It can certainly, it's got strength around it. It's got success around it, courage. Some of you, I, I do feel like, you know, and I feel like I'm beating a dead drum, but I feel like this time apart, maybe this time by yourself, you know, even if, even if you weren't by yourself, like when you are alone, I feel like you are, you may be finding yourself like on this new direction. You know, I feel like the, the Queen of Pentacles is like the psychic detective. Yet yeah, the Page of Wands makes me feel like taking a chance, right? The, the temperance is about divine timing, so we'll see. You know, this page coming over victory. It's like take, taking a chance is kind of answering that question. You know, can it be victorious? Can I claim victory at the end? And I feel like the answer is yes. 
five. Again, you know, it's like being truly who you are with no mask whatsoever. And the same for them. Definitely taking a while for your cards to come out. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So, you know, to me, the Ace of Pentacles, um, it's something that comes into your physical world. It's something that changes your world. And it's literally coming over the world. You know, I feel like it comes in like a seed. And if I love it, if I nurture it, then it's going to grow, it's going to expand, it's going to create roots. If I don't, it won't. But being so close to temperance, hmm. And it's interesting because the queen is holding this pentacle over the knight of wands. So, passion, desire, but it could even be again of, of what I do now. Like what I do in the world, you know. This may not just be talking about love. It may be talking about, you know, even like your position in the world. We have the Five of Swords over the Queen of Swords. Interesting. And then we have the Star. Card of Aquarius. Um, but this is about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But manifesting them. Bringing them about. You know, it's interesting how I said, like, you know, no mask, being completely who I am, and she's completely naked. To me, that's exactly what it is. Like, you know, that may be part of my wish. You know, I know that was part of my wish when it when it related to Sam, like that I could come I could come into his home and not be someone that I'm not. You know, like and just be who I am. That kind of I feel that energy. You know, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the Queen of Swords had to also learn how to communicate. There could have just been bad communication somewhere along the road. And um, if this is something that's coming back around, then I feel like each, each has that understanding now. And, you know, temperance being over that energy and also, like, kind of connecting the Queen and the King, then... You know, I don't feel like good temperance would be any be bringing anything back that wasn't, you know, meant to be. Because again, we have the world, the next chapter, and then the Ace of Pentacles, the ability to move upon it. Star. And then look at this, the Emperor. Dun, 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 dun. Um, and by the way, like, could totally be like you owning a business now. You know, because I do feel that part of you, like where you've been, and maybe that's what Mother Mary is saying, you pulled yourself up and, you know, you created something out of your life. It doesn't have to be big and fantastic. It's just that, you know, you're putting a belief back into you that you can create your own success. And that may be important to you, and I get it. If 
fun. I also say that the emperor could certainly represent, again, love. And if it does, then this, this to me, would be someone that I can look up to. So now I can look up to this person. This person is um, empathetic, but empathetic, but also, um, what's the word I want to use? Yeah, you know, just as someone who puts a plan in place. Interesting though, I see the queen right above right above him and as as it relates to like a business, I could see because I call her my psychic detective, I could see some of you moving in that direction. Again, you may just your interest might be piqued with that ace of wands is like inspired and then action. And then you moving into that three of wands, so you're in that present moment energy, and you are saying, you know, I know that my ship, and if it's relating to love, it feels like it's all about divine timing. And not just for one, but for both. And then it arrives like, you know, as a new love, Though so again, past life, Scorpio had the same thing. Hmm. Interestingly, the page of wands in the emperor, so this could also be younger energy and current energy. Because I feel like this new love is going to begin. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and bring in this little deck. I think it's called the Celestial Tarot. And um, let's just look at a couple things. I feel like your reading is going to be long. But so be it. All right. What do I want to look at? I feel like I just want to go over the top line. Like not one particular card, but just the top line. We have the two of pentacles. Interesting. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Cups now on the table. We have Six of Pentacles. And then, how could that be? Oh, the Two of Pentacles. What's this? Just, oh, this is the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles to Two of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, I feel like I feel like someone was surprised that, like, that something came to an end. Maybe they were surprised, like, if you walked away, let's say. And again, I'm not going to leave out a past life. This could have been what happened. Um, but it's, but I almost feel like they were surprised, or you were surprised, that, you know, it came to an end. It didn't, it didn't, doesn't feel like something ended well. Um, almost like someone feels thrown out into the cold. But then... You know, then it moves into the Six of Cups. And I feel like, you know, the Six of Cups talks about empathetic, caring people. People who, you know, enjoy giving a hand out to help someone. Um, but it can also be, you know, learning fine art of give and take. 
You know, things could have been off balance, especially coming over the Seven of Cups. But then comes the Two of Cups, or the Two of Pentacles, where it's like, again, a question is being posed to you, you know. So, to me, it feels like it must mean something's, you know, something's happening, because Two of Cups, or Two of, um, it's Two of Cups? No, Two of Pentacles. You know, they call it the juggler's card, but I feel like it's you making a decision. You know, and I feel like one of the questions that we ask ourselves in that energy is, whatever is, like, in front of me will enhance my life. You know, will it bring my life value or... not we have the ten of pentacles interesting look at all the pentacles all of a sudden you know that's abundance It's interesting how it goes from the Five of Pentacles into the Ten of Pentacles. It's almost like whatever I lost, I'm regaining. Hmm. We have, we've got some mirroring going on. We have the strength card. We have the eight of pentacles. Again, second eight of pentacles. Second strength card. An interesting 88 is coming out again, where here it is, exact same way, except it's the opposite. 88, 88, 88. Strength card, then the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, then the Strength card. Interesting. And then we have Holy Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. You know, Seven of Pentacles to me, first of all, is like, wow. Um, let's talk about the Eight of Pentacles real quick. Because, again, I feel like I feel like this is your opportunity, like this is you increasing your pentacles, but I feel like it's like through your creative nature, um, however that may be. And that's why, again, I feel like there was no time wasted. And it's interesting because then I feel like we get the mirror of that with the Ten of Pentacles. So, because I don't feel like you're alone in that energy. And that is and that is the house that could potentially take root. Well, the Ace of Pentacles is right here. And the Seven of Pentacles, I often think of as like an apple tree, right? Each pentacle, and here's one of them, comes to fruition. We do have the Star card. So this could be like the soul's desire that is getting ready to or able to pick right the apples becoming ripe and then here is that ace of pentacles so i feel like this is much like the wheel in the seven of pentacles something that potentially is meant to be and again i say potentially because with the eight right behind it it's like if i focus on it if i put my focus on it and you have you can have your focus in more than one place because I feel like there's no way are you, you know, like lowering your standards as it relates to like your pentacles. Um, doesn't mean you're not open, if you know what I mean. Because I feel if anything, if I'm open, then I'm I'm going to feel even more creative. So you know, open to what? Well, I feel like everything.
All right, let's look at the bottom. And so on the bottom, we have this ace coming in. I feel like the Queen of Swords has had the realization that, you know, I've had to learn to grow my own communication, the way I speak. Um, and, you know, and then the star, about a wish coming true, and then the emperor. All right. We have the eight of cups. Look at that. So we have the eight of cups somewhere right around this five of swords. And now we have the eight of cups directly over the five of swords. Again, it's that toxicity. But in the eight of cups, I've examined it and now I'm letting it go, right? I feel like there's a lot of a lot of energy about letting like letting things go. And it's almost like as I release each worry, I feel lighter and lighter. All right, we have the King of Wands, King of Wands. And then we have Justice, Carta Libra. Justice could certainly talk about the cutting of ties. You know, I just get this feeling, an overall feeling that I have may I maybe I may have been through some relationships, um, but I just get this feeling that I never had that that feeling of true fulfillment. Or if I had been with this person, I haven't felt that since. Now, I don't feel like it stopped you. Because I feel like all these pentacles are saying the growth that you've had in your life. And it's almost like maybe if the separation didn't happen, this part of you never would have came out. And I feel like it's some it's an important part of you also. You know, it's and listen, for some of you, it's new, like a new adventure, a new venture. And I, but I feel like it's I feel like, first of all, it may just start as inspiration. Um, but then I can take that and I can grow it. And maybe, just maybe, if this is talking about love is coming back, each of them have had that growth. And again, I'm picking up that feeling of, I don't know, I'm just getting multiple stories of, you know, a few of you who may be with someone, but it's just like, you know, like, I don't know, I feel like, you know, it's over or you feel it's over. I don't know. But this isn't where I feel like the true love lies. For those people, like, I feel like you could be with someone where you just like, there is no love, it's, there is no fulfillment, you know it. Um, and maybe, again, you've been putting your focus on what you do in the world, and, um, but I also feel like, again, love is entering, it just is, <laughs> it just is. interesting because I feel like I feel like you're different I feel like you probably like own a business or are becoming like stronger and stronger within you know yourself and your trust within yourself and um I feel like you know I feel like these pentacles they just feel like a time of like what feels almost like wealth But I don't feel like I'm taking it for granted either. And 
I guess what I'm trying to say is, would it have, would that have happened if, you know, if I was in this house of drama? All right. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, hmm, what do I feel like? You know, justice is about making you feel whole again. And I'm realizing that it is mirroring the seven of cups where, and also separation. Again, where, you know, you haven't really felt whole. And you may, I feel like you're moving into that period now. You know, where I can say you feel whole again. And I kind of feel that in all areas of your life. So I feel like that's where I should leave it. That's where I should leave it. But let's read Mother Mary. Be strong. And I feel like you are saying. That's what I've been. All right. This message counsels you to take swift and firm action towards resolving your present situation. Mother Mary avows that you are stronger than you think. You are stronger than you think you are. You can also call upon the wellspring of God's strength to lift you up. Do not wallow in any feelings of victimhood or passivity. Use your God-given gift. Give use your God-given strength now. This card may also be asking you to engage in physical activity to develop your strong, healthy body. If you've been if you've been thinking about working out with weights, this it, this card is additional validation that it's time to exercise. Wah, wah. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys, because I feel like this is a long reading. Um, but I feel like those days of woe, I feel like they have the opportunity of, com of coming to an end. Um, but I feel like it's all going to start with you and taking that inspired step. You know for anything in your life, not just love, but also you. Because I don't know, I'm just seeing like a lot of success, but I feel it in all areas of your life, you know, and I feel like this is a period of time where years later you may look back and you, and you may even be thankful. You'll understand it on a different level and you'll be like, oh, because I know that. Um, I know Sam and I have gotten together too early, I would have, my focus wouldn't have been on Tarot. So that time apart is truly when I created my business. And I call it my business because, you know, this is my main focus besides personal readings. So anyway, I feel that. And now we are in union. But I'm also doing what I love at the same time. So kind of feel that for you. All right, guys, I'm going to let that be. I love you. Thank you. I'll see you. And by the way, you might want to check out Scorpio's reading. Um, you know, you do have a lot of similarities here. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're connected to Scorpio. It just may mean like it may help fill in the picture for you. All right, guys, I'm going to let that be. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.